In 2021, thanks to the dedicated efforts of hardworking staff across the NHS and our key workers, we delivered a record 132 million doses in a single year. And that's the largest single vaccination effort ever undertaken in the UK's history. What we have seen from our great vaccination effort is nothing short of remarkable. And remember, get boosted now. Tens of millions of people have now answered the call by coming forward to get boosted. And we've delivered on our pledge to offer every adult in the UK a third dose of the coronavirus vaccine. First hand, I've seen the great British spirit come alive from the doctors, the nurses, pharmacists, armed forces personnel getting booster jabs into arms. To the volunteers who have given their time freely to join the jabs army, uniting together as a nation to stop the virus getting a second chance. Every effort counts in this rollout. Every person waiting, queuing in line to get boosted is helping to protect the vulnerable. Every person in line to get boosted is helping to protect our NHS. Every person queuing to get boosted is helping to safeguard the hard-won gains we've made as a country. So thank you for coming forward to get boosted. And thank you to our NHS, our armed forces, and so many volunteers making this rollout a success. And it's because of those hard-won gains achieved through the vaccination programme that we can look forward to 2022. We're starting the year strongly with the fastest economic growth compared to our fellow G7 nations like the United States, France, Germany, Italy. Investors see that strength in our economy. Last year alone, tech investment more than doubled to 30 billion pounds. That's twice as much as Germany, three times as much as France. We're also seizing the opportunities of global Britain to level up communities across the UK. We've agreed 70 trade deals, including our historic deal with Australia that's due to unlock an additional 10 billion pounds in trade for British business. And my 10 point plan for a green industrial revolution will harness the talents of British business to address the challenge of climate change, but also create and support 250,000 green jobs in the process. We will also do more to keep you and your families safe in 2022. We're delivering tougher sentences for child murderers and people smugglers. We're introducing tough prison terms for blocking motorways and for assaulting emergency workers. On the front line, we've recruited uh, 11,053 more police officers, well on our way to delivering 20,000 more officers by 2023. And officers on the front line will be backed by an additional 1.1 billion pounds to increase police budgets this year. This Conservative government is focused on the people's priorities. And we are getting on with the job.